fight the road to war because those voices don't speak for the rest of us. You and I know and do not believe that life is so dear and peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery. Or should Moses have told the children of Israel to live in slavery under the Pharaoh? Should Christ have refused the cross? Should the patriots at Concord Bridge have thrown down their guns and refused to fire the shot heard around the world? The martyrs of history were not and our honored dead who gave their lives to stop the advance of the Nazis didn't die in vain. Where then is the road to peace? Or the simple answer after all. You and I have the courage to say to our enemies, there is a price we will not pay, there is a point beyond which they must not be there. You and I have a rendezvous with All right, welcome back. Patriot X Freedom Radio, episode 5.5. Pathos Carl here to talk to you about some news updates from Sweden. Yeah. Carl, so 5.5 5. 5. 5 is because we, we we did episode six and, and seven, but then stuff happened uh, and we want to squeeze this in between. So what happened is that Lars Vilks, uh, an artist in Sweden who has been living under police protection for 11 years, 24 seven is now dead. Uh, a car accident might have been a staged accident or it just might have been an accident accident. We don't know that. And uh, but I'm gonna give you the backstory really quick. So there were some, some Danish Mohammed drawings in some newspaper, which kind of started the so-called Muhammad crisis in Denmark, where uh, Muslim nations boycotted their their products, and uh, uh, actually, in your country, stores popped up within a week that sold only Danish products <laughs> to show their Western solidarity. Well, I didn't realize that. Okay. Yeah, cool. that went really fast. However, this Swedish uh, artist, he was criticizing, I don't know, society for not giving these uh, artists enough support. Uh, and, and, and he ended up making a, a drawing with Muhammad as a dog. <laughs> and it went haywire and, and he got a fatwa on his head. And uh, so the price of him was hundred thousand dollars for killing him and a hundred thousand hundred fifty thousand dollars for cutting his throat oh, <laughs> so wow. it's a higher tax on that yeah however uh, he has now been living uh, like under protection for uh, on, on the Swedish tax money for uh, 11 years 24 uh, 7 he has been not, not been able to live together with his woman uh, and a lot of problems and and now finally, he died in a car accident together with his his um, bodyguards. Yeah, so that's that's the background. What I wouldn't wanted to talk about is what I've heard on the radio later when they talked about this case, because they had this woman from a Swedish newspaper, totally normal mainstream Swedish newspaper, and uh, and she was in in this morning radio like uh, expert or something on the case. But there are also a lot of people being happy about him being dead. And then they quoted stuff about, I'm so happy he's finally burning in hell. <laughs> and they didn't say flat out, these were the Muslim reactions, but obviously like the yeah. term burning <laughs> in hell is not very secular. Uh, yeah. so, uh, so they talked about that. And uh, then they also mentioned, and there are other people, and now they talk about the woke, not saying it right out, but there are other people who has criticized Vilks for being ruthless and uh, without sympathy or whatever to uh, powerless minority groups. So now we, now we know they talk about the woke. You hear it in the terminology, right? Yeah. But this lady, she was answering, oh, oh wait a moment. These people who put the fat one on this guy's head, they are the most powerful Muslim regimes and terror organizations in the world, they are not powerless. <laughs> so, yeah. the, and I, I love that she pointed that out. She went even further saying that, and I think it's a very low estimate or a, of Muslim people 
to assume that they need some that they are more sensitive to getting offended and that they need some special protection from the rest of us and yada 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 all of that and i was so happy to hear this <laughs> because <laughs> it's been obvious to me for for like a bunch of years now like the the benevolent racism of low expectations yeah on the on the left side you got like different kinds of races on, on right and left <laughs> but yeah. but the thing with the the left side racists is that they don't understand <laughs> how racist they are yes they, they don't they it's it escapes them the irony of their own racism yeah so. because if you treat people like they're children grown up people like their children just because they are not white <laughs> or not grew because they come from from a, a muslim country that is kind of bias and yeah well i might agree i i might believe that as a group muslims are a little not that good at taking a joke right <laughs> As, a, as overall yes yeah as, as a group like like yes. not on an individual level but I, but it's still wrong to assume that they can't handle society like the rest of us. Yeah. Because these people who live here, they moved here for a reason, you know. As, yeah. I, I mean, mean they, okay. they might might not have been happy with being like throwing being thrown in jail for not having their veil on right or whatever. They yeah. moved here for a reason. That's true. They sh they chose this society for a reason. Yeah. And and then it's it's not right for the people on the right side of history to to make them some kind of special second degree citizen, a right? A protected class of citizens who we, the benevolent overlords, have decided are not able to handle society, life, yeah, uh, the things that the rest of us people can because. They're not strong enough, and yeah. which is in and of itself so, racist. So she was like, everyone, we just have, we live in a free society. We just have to man up and take it, or woman up, if you like, uh, and and handle it. And, and, and uh, if you can't, then, well, it's your problem. <laughs> That's what's kind of the bottom line of it. Yeah. And maybe, and, and then they started talking about, well, some people think that, uh, is is it really worth it you know like paying i i i don't know the price for 11 years of around the clock protection but i i that's a lot of the tax money i guess yeah. and and some people are like oh he he knew this would happen and he he should suit like suit yourself and you know stuff like that and and that why should we the rest of us who who want to live under the boot have to pay for this and uh and she was like well it's the duty of the state to protect the 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 right of expression of the individual, and I was like, "Freedom Radio." That's right. <laughs> you know? How often do you how often do you hear that anymore? <laughs> yeah, and and I heard and I heard this on Swedish state radio, right? Public service, wow. you know, and and from from like a mainstream one of the bigger newspapers, uh, and I was just so happy. And I, I want to share that with you, but I, I, I thought that would be a waste of time if, I, I mean, I, we could tell everyone at yeah, the absolutely. same time. Well, and I think my first couple thoughts on that, to, to kind of go backwards, yeah. is to hear that from a state uh, news agency. Man. Left leaning Sweden. Yeah, in, in the socialist <laughs> utopia of Sweden, talking about how the government exists to protect the rights of the individual. The world yeah. has. Oh my gosh! Everything's upside down. It and should be. It should be obvious, but it's 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 it's. it's yeah. a, well, and if, if for anybody that can tell, I'm a, my I I sound a little stopped up, and I've been that way all week. So if I sound a little odd, just dealing with the change in the weather. But yeah. um, and speaking like uh, the change in the weather, like I said, here we have socialist utopia, Sweden. Yeah, that is standing up for the rights of expression and protecting people and then you have she was actually they they pointed out because he has criticized the system for uh, because he has been uh, separated from his woman they are not married they are like they were together 
and and yeah. now they are together apart like they can't live together because she was not a target and they so and he was the target so they had to like kind of separate them and and uh, with the artist artists in Denmark living under uh, state protection they handled that so yeah. that people could keep their their love life right so uh, so she was actually criticizing that that's shameful <laughs> <laughs> that Sweden can't manage the same. So she she yeah. she wasn't just like, oh, we should pay like millions of dollars for uh, eleven years. We should pay more because everyone deserves love. <laughs> was like, <laughs> I was, it was fantastic to hear uh, this this kind of talking <laughs> on yeah. Swedish radio in the morning. You know, as far as like the state taking out all this uh, time and effort and, and money to offer protection <laughs> when you were talking that and everybody was complaining over there that like why not should everybody have, some people not everyone <laughs> some people but like there were certain people like you know that should be his responsibility you know and my first thought was like most of the time in america while we still have a second amendment until they come for that you would you wouldn't necessarily need the protection of the police department for 11 years you would have your yeah. own protection and therefore nobody yeah. could say anything i chose to draw this cartoon and i'm choosing to defend myself because i have yeah i'm gonna put my it. bullets where my mouth is <laughs> exactly yeah so yeah. I, that was a, an interesting thing and an argument for those people yeah that, well, i you know you you're preaching to the choir but when you, you know. talk to me of, of the second amendment you're preaching to the choir you understand yeah. that <laughs> yeah. yeah it would be cheaper for everyone but i i love that we have universal health care right but the thing that the people that are a threat to that are that kind of people the same kind of people that don't want him to get protection because he did something stupid that's the same kind of people that think that smokers shouldn't have health care. The unvaccinated shouldn't have health care. If yeah. you're fat, you shouldn't have, you know, you should have taxes on the sugar. You should, you know, that if you go out skiing, you are, you know, yeah. if you're not fit for. And I know you have like kind of the same problem with your insurance system in the States, like Asian guy. Oh, Jackie. I can't. Ah, it, it's one of my favorites, and I now I can't remember his name because this is on recording. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> I've heard that no one of the insurance companies want to touch him with a ten foot pole because he's doing his own stunts. <laughs> yeah. So the, the the problem is everywhere. But you, yeah. if you are going to have a system where others where we pay for each other, like you have in the insur the private insurance system works the same. Yes. And and uh, that like the principle is the same. Everyone puts in and, and someone gets out. Yes. If we're going to have a system like that, we can't be ungenerous. If you go to the doctor and you have some problem, they shouldn't ask you, OK, show me all your gym hours this month. Because ultimately right? it's it's such a you, you can't follow it through because it'll fall apart somewhere. This guy over here goes to the gym five days a week and he ends up with cancer. And this person over there never goes to the gym and eats McDonald's five days a week and lives till they're 95 years old. So yeah. it has to, you can't do anything, but if you're, it's, it almost needs to function as a utility. Cause like at my work, I have yeah. to pay a premium because I use tobacco. And so, yeah. which I call it blood money, basically like, fine, if you want my money, I'm not going to lie to you because I have more integrity than that. And yeah, I'll, you know, if I have to pay a little bit more to exercise my own freedom, you're like worth every cent. <laughs> it, it, exactly. Yeah. Other people are like, well, they're never going to know. I'm like, that's not the point. The point is, is that this is not the way it should be. To get back to um, the drawing and the and the, the car crash and everything, wasn't uh, Charlie Headbo drawler? Was that in France or? It yeah, was that, a, that's the French French yeah publication. Did, I think. I think it's not the up, I mean, they ended up like attacking the the news station yeah. or something. To, I mean, they went yeah. all out against them. Yeah. Freedom isn't free. No, it's not. No, it's, it is it's not at all. Still better to to die for it than to live without it. Yep. 
time. And that's why we do what we do. That's right. <laughs> that's the point. That's the point of this. Rem remind people if they forget. Yes. The thing is, it's so easily forget because it's not about the money. It's about all of everything. It is all of everything. Det är väl inte pengar det gäller? Vad gäller det då? Ja, vad det gäller. Det gäller ju allting. Det gäller ju alltihop. Vadå alltihopa? Alltihopa allting. So yeah, that's where we're going to stop for today. Uh, for this episode of Patriot X Freedom Radio. And um, we will see you guys next time as we talk about more stuff from yeah yeah you know, from the swede and american so we love you guys yeah Sign okay off. bye and therein lies the road to war because those voices don't speak for the rest of us you and i know and do not believe that life is so dear and peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery Moses Moses have told the children of Israel to live in slavery under the Pharaoh. But Christ have reduced the cross. Should the patriots at Concord Bridge have thrown down their guns and refused to fire the shot heard around the world? The martyrs of history were not. And our honored dead who gave their lives to stop the advance of the Nazis didn't die in vain. Where then is the road to peace? Or the simple answer after all. You and I have the courage to say to our enemies,